I have a very long day ahead of me. What's up, Machine Freaks? I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Today, it is beautiful in New York State. Unfortunately, the week is going to get terrible, so we have to bust this out very soon because it's fall, winter's coming, the rain is coming, Irma's coming. No, luckily, luckily Irma's not here. For anybody that's down in Florida, uh, I, ho I hope you're doing well, I hope you're safe. If you're near the area, leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me a little bit about your situation or your family or friend's situation. Today I am a body tech, I guess. At least that's what a lot of people said in the comment section. Everybody came up with a different name, body technician, body man, dent ripper, dent puller. But today we're doing this entire side of the truck. I think I'm actually gonna start with the bed because that's something that's actually not gonna come off the truck. I think I'm actually gonna rip the doors off. And I think I'm gonna rip off this quarter panel because the hood has just been painted. I don't wanna accidentally, you know, run my sander over and hit the hood. So I think that would be a smart move. I already broke an emblem, but that's okay. As long as we got the diesel one. I got some awesome ideas when it comes to decals and stickers anyways. Ten to go. So basically, Cole went around with a crayon. Huh? Cole went around with a crayon. Sorry to the viewers. And he circled all the imperfections. I'll show you what we're looking for. Oh, yo. Huh? I know we're gonna be standing all day, so I gotta update these guys real quick. Okay. So basically, here, show them a circle. Okay, so look at all these red circles. This is the problem with this paint job. It's got little tiny specks. So what had happened is uh, like a rock or something nicked it. It gets down to the bare metal and then it starts eating away at the primer, the paint, and everything like that. So that's what's killing this paint job. We circle them, we sand them, we sand it down to bare metal. You find a tiny little tiny speck of rust, sand that out, move on. There's a lot of surface area. There's a lot of surface area. All right, cool, commence! You know how most people have role models? I, I think role models are very, very important in life. I think everybody should have a role model. And you know, from time to time, your role models change. I know it has for me, but today, Today, my role model is Cole. Cole is kicking some serious butt. Cole, thank you. This line that I'm taking off, this is for my airbags. For when, you know, I haul this stuff. I, I can release the pressure here, but I also have the luxury of doing the airbags from inside because I have a pump switch inside and I have a relief valve inside. got me wondering, who is your role model? And if you don't want to disclose who your role model is, what are they? Are they an athlete? Are they a YouTuber? Are they a motivational speaker? Comment section! We have made some insane progress. And yes, I do have hat hair. There's like a haze right here. There's so much dust on the ground and dust on the truck. Cole took off for 10 minutes, he'll be back in a second. As Soon as he gets back, we're gonna take the doors off, start stripping those down. This, the front quarter panel is completely done, completely done. And then what I mean by that is it's ready to be primed. Uh, luckily the weather has changed so tomorrow we might be able to get this truck completely painted as long as all the priming and all the sanding goes well. So far, so good. I 
turned into a small problem. We didn't roll the window down when we took the window or the door out of the truck. So I actually had to get these uh, cables here. Cole uh, ran the battery, I ran the hookups, and we hooked it up to the, what is this called? The, the I window. don't know. The win motor? The window, the window motor. So now that we have the window down, now I can take the molding out, and then this door is, oh, nope, not completely stripped. I take the, the door handle off after that, it's stripped down. We almost got all the Bondo down. I found a small valley in one of them, so I had to add more Bondo to it. But after that cures, this door should be ready to go after sanding, of course. Cole's doing well over there. How are you doing, Cole? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, making progress. That's okay. almost done. So, if we don't get if we don't get time to do the doors, we're gonna we're definitely doing the truck tonight, no matter what. If it was missing paint before, it's definitely missing paint now. Well, there you have it. This is how Cole and I got in front of the dryer vent. <laughs> Fogged us out for a second. This is how Cole and I spent our 9-11. How did you guys spend your 9-11? Just like the day the World Trade Centers fell, a lot of people won't forget that day. Cole and I will definitely not forget this 9-11. We kicked some major, major butt on the Duramax, which is awesome. I'm super stoked that Cole gave me his time and his energy. Well, I guess I paid him, but he still helped me out. Like, this is no small task. This is huge. This is a lot of surface area. I mean, you're constantly sanding. You're finding flaws. You're resanding. Finding more flaws. Resanding. And it just doesn't stop. Hopefully we will tomorrow. Hopefully we have some paint on it, primer. And we'll bust out that box that I bought from Harbor Freight. And you guys will finally see what's in there. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Tell me where you were on 9-11. Tell me what you did on this 9-11. Stay froggy fresh. Stay super fly. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. Oh yeah, and if you're determined to get anything done, whether it's hard or not, you definitely want to buy some 3D Machines apparel and show that you can get your machine on. We'll see you guys later.